So have you ever noticed this? You're building a remarketing audience, but for some reason, it's just not populating in Google Ads. Now, I've been trying to find the answer for this for the past three weeks, and eventually, I figured it out. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. If you're trying to get your remarketing audiences to populate in Google Ads, and you're just not coming right because it keeps on saying zero, this is the perfect video for you to watch because I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Now, if you're brand new over here, what we do is we teach people how to get good results with Google Ads, get leads and get cheap conversions. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below so that you can stay informed with the latest Google Ads information. All right, so I'm gonna break this down into four easy steps that you can follow. And what I wanna do is in step one, I just wanna build the remarketing audience. Now I know a lot of you have built the remarketing audience before. I just wanna make sure that we're using best practices so that we don't get lost and so that there's no confusion, all right? So I want you to lock into your PC into Google Analytics and Google Ads and let's get started. All right, so for step one, you're gonna go into admin in your Google Analytics. I'm using Google Analytics 4, by the way, and you're gonna go over into the audience section. Now, once you're in the audience section, you have a choice to create a new audience. And once you do that, you're gonna click on create a custom audience. Now, in the custom audience member, um, in the custom audience, selection tab you are basically going to firstly name your audience so i'm just going to say remarketing audience over here the next thing you want to do is put in the conditions for your audience now a lot of you are trying to target people who have visited your checkout or maybe have added to the cart or maybe came to a specific section on your website but just to get this working and to get it up and done and to get some momentum select all your users try and make the remarketing work first and then after that you can go into your segmentation and you can create as many audiences as you'd like all right so i'm just gonna go to events and i'm gonna say page view and what this is gonna do is this is gonna select every single person who's visited my website in the past membership duration over here in the past 30 days and it's also going to give me a summary of how many people have visited so this doesn't mean all of these 281 people are going to be populating my remarketing audience straight away. When we create this audience, from this moment forward, it'll start gathering people. But we know to expect about 281 people more or less, all right? So once you do that, you're gonna say save. Okay. So now I've got my remarketing audience that I've just created over here. And as you can see, it's got less than 10 users. The next thing that I want you to do, and this is step number two, is go over to your Google Ads and you're going to go over into your tools and settings and you are going to go to your linked accounts. Now, once you're in your linked account, you're going to see every single thing that's linked into your Google Ads account. And this is a very important step. You're going to click on manage and link and once you do that you'll see this little thing here that says google optimize sharing turned off and this needs to be turned on if you're going to get those audiences populating so you're just going to select the switch over here and once you do that you'll get a little notification see i've got a little black box over here that just says that it's been switched on and you'll also see that the toggle has been switched on all right so that's step number two very easy very straightforward but make sure that's switched on the next thing you're gonna do is step number three we're gonna go over back into our google analytics and i want to show you how i get here you're gonna go over into your admin again and now you're gonna go over to this place here where it says data settings and there's a specific section over here where it says data collection now once you do that you'll see it says here google signals data collection and you need to switch that on because once again you need to basically opt in that you are taking people's data and that you are going to be careful with people's data and that you're going to basically comply to Google Ads advertising policies. So we're gonna say get started over here, and we're gonna say continue, and we're gonna say activate. 
And as you can see now, we are allowed to collect data in 306 of 306 regions. Just make sure the country you're in is mentioned in this region, but I think you should be more than fine if you're watching this video anywhere in the world. Okay, so once you're done with that, we're just gonna go down here and just make sure that everything here is allowed and that you acknowledge your user data collection as well. Also, make sure that you have privacy policies in place. Make sure that you have every single thing on your website that says you are allowed to take this data and make sure you are compliant wherever you are in the world. I can't stress that enough. Now, once you do that, that's step number three, you should be more than ready to go, right? So all of this is sorted out now and all I'm gonna do in the next piece of this video is I'm gonna wait a bit and I'm gonna show you that my audience is actually pulling through. Now, as you can see, I'm over in my audience manager over here and you can see that my remarketing audience has pulled through, but at the moment it's saying zero, 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 but nothing to fear if you did the settings that i said do you'll see it soon starts populating and i'm going to show you that in this next time lapse Now, if you wanna learn more about Google Ads and you wanna learn more about remarketing and different tricks, tactics, strategies to get you the cheapest cost per conversion possible, I want you to check out my Google Ads course and I'm gonna leave a link down to it in the description below. It's got over 12 hours, I think, of Google Ads training videos. You also get special coaching calls with me one-on-one -on -one and a, a pretty cool community as well. So if you wanna check it out, link is in the description below. Lastly, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it and if it helped you, please share it with a friend who's having the same problem maybe. And also make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you can figure out more about Google Ads with me as I go through this journey. Also, one last thing, if you're brand new to remarketing and you really want an in-depth guide, I highly recommend you check out our remarketing tutorial for beginners. It's got over 10,000 views and it's a really good video. So I will see you next time, my friends. Cheers.